Today I'm going to install a custom ROM on Xperia M device, um, but it is applicable to all Xperia devices. Uh, to install the custom ROM on your Xperia M, you need to first unlock the bootloader. So before unlocking the bootloader, make sure you have TA partition backup. I will give the link below on the description. And uh, to start with the unlocking bootloader, unlocking the bootloader, just go to google.com and type sony bootloader unlock and press the first link make sure you have the unlock bootloader.sonymobile.com and press start unlocking the bootloader and just follow the procedure and it's done and follow these procedures it's done your bootloader will be unlocked and then go to google.com sorry go to SPA developers I mean uh, what I'm trying to do is just download the custom ROM which you want to install on your device For my device, I mean for Xperia M, you can install three ROMs. One is Cyanogen mod, another one is Carbon ROM, and the other, another one is Hellcat. I'm I'm actually installing now Carbon ROM. I already tried the Cyanogen mod. This one carbon ROM, carbon ROM. Just download the file. I have already downloaded that. Here it is. I already downloaded that. So just extract the boot.img to your desktop and uh, copy this whole file whole zip file to your SD card okay so we need to flash this file in CWM so just copy this to your Xperia M SD card and after that install flash tool the link is given below just to install the flash tool just say next 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 and install okay so after that you need to install your drivers for Xperia M just go to C and uh, flash tool and drivers sorry yeah drivers and flash tool drivers double click on that and say yes and next and select uh, fast boot drivers flash mode and Xperia PU and Xperia Sola and install I already done that so it's ready to okay guys uh, let's start the installing the custom ROM first open the flash tool which is uh, just is just installed now it will last for at least Advent rights so just say yes and uh, after you open the flash tool connect your device in fast boot mode so to connect that just press and hold the volume of button and uh, connect it to your PC
yeah it's showing now device connected in fast boot mode and uh, go to flash symbol and select fast boot mode press ok and go to select kernel and select the kernel uh, I mean the boot.img which is just extracted now say open and close that just check once everything is fine and save the log and disconnect your device and uh, power on the device and when LED uh, light is turned to pink just press volume up button just press the volume up button don't press and hold it okay and uh, you will enter into CWM sorry for the low quality video because I'm using my webcam which is not so high quality just I'll tell you what to do just uh, go to wipe data factory and say yes it will take some time to wipe data and factory wipe data user data when everything is fine just uh, go to um, wipe cache partition and press yes and give some time it will also take some time to wipe the um, data and uh, after everything is done go to advanced and uh, select wipe the there will be cache and uh, after that go back and uh, select install a zip and select uh, SD card 1 and select your um, custom ROM which is uh, just transferred downloaded and transferred to your SD card select that and say yes actually I'm flashing carbon ROM but the procedure is applicable to all custom ROMs like carbon ROM cyanogen mod everything is same just first extract the boot.img to your desktop or somewhere just flash that and go to recovery wipe all data and uh, everything wipe all uh, everything just wipe and install the custom ROM which is just transferred to your SD card that's all it's installing the procedure is same for all the devices I mean all the devices all the ROMs So don't worry. Once it's done, just say reboot now.